morning storm club and welcome to our craft session now which will be uh, one part of three and later we'll have our animal jokes live on Facebook at 4pm as usual and after that we will be uploading the rest of our storm club session which will be our warm up, our story, memory verse and we'll be learning a bit more of our Olaf dance. So in today's craft session we are going to be planting and learning a bit about wild flowers. Enjoy! To plant our wild flowers, you will need a pot with some compost in, or you can do this if you have a flower bed outside in your garden or some free space, you can use that. You will need your wild flower seeds, a pair of gloves if you like, some water, and a rake, or you can always use your fingers. So I'm going to get my gloves on and we'll get started. So first thing you need to do is fill your tub or if you're using outside that doesn't matter and you'll need to water the soil that you have in. Mine has already been watered so it's all ready to go. Then you need to rake the top layer of the soil, make sure it's nice and fine with no lumps. So either do this in your plot outside or in your pot, whichever one you've been able to do. Nice. Oh, big lump there. Okay, and once that's all nice and raked, looking very neat, no big lumps anywhere, you can, I'm going to take off my gloves for this bit, get your seeds and start to spread them, sow them evenly into your soil. Okay, just like this. Now I've got a mixture of seeds in mine, but a lot of them are ones you'd find commonly this time of year, maybe as you go on your daily walks, you might spot some of these flowers as you go around. And I'm gonna go for a walk and see if I can spot any of them too. Wonderful. All my seeds are in. Let's just check, pat them out. Yep. Nice and evenly. Okay, so then you want to just rake again. And you're going to now rake them in. Rake all your seeds in. So be not, a bit delicate, but just make sure they get a nice covering. You might find you need to get a little bit more soil and just pop it over the top. make sure they're nice and comfortable in their new home and you might see these start to flower this year some of them but if not they will all grow the year after so you might have to wait a long time for some of these so might I but hopefully a few will grow in time to show you okay and once you've done that Especially if you've had to put a little more soil on, you just want to give them another little dribble of water. And then they are all done. They just need to be left. If you're having them inside, they need to be in a warm, sunny spot. And you need to make sure you water them regularly. Or if they're outside, you just need to make sure you water them and keep an eye on them. But they'll survive inside or outside. Happy growing! Hello Storm Club, it's a lovely sunny day today and I am going to show you how some of my wildflowers that I planted earlier have grown and then I think I'm going to go on my daily walk to a local area that I know is being left to grow completely wild which is Broadwater Cemetery and I'm going to see if I can spot some wildflowers and I'm going to tell you all some interesting facts about them. So let's have a look over here. This way I spy some wildflowers. Here we are, here's our little name tag to tell us that these are our wildflowers growing. So I haven't got any flowers yet, but as you can see, some of these are growing really 
strong and tall already and you can see we have lots of different varieties so we have one here and it's very smooth leaves this one has very rough and large leaves we have some that look almost like grass here and we have more still that are all very very little and we have some here as well that have all wiggly leaves so we have lots and lots of different plants here growing already now I'm going to see if I can spot some of these wild flowers fully grown already in Broadwater Cemetery let's go so I have arrived here at Broadwater Cemetery where you can find lots and lots of wild flowers as you can see already here it is overgrown and just covered in some gorgeous flowers and I'm going to show you some that I find today and tell you a bit about them and so here we have that you can see all over and are probably the most common flower here these are called ox eye daisies and these are a favorite of lots of bees butterflies and hoverflies they love this daisy here which grows quite tall and it will pretty much grow anywhere so you see them a lot at this time of year okay and just in here we have this lovely looking bush with red berries and its yellow flowers now this is I'll give you the proper long name Hyperissum andrasamum but we might call it Tutsum which in French is Tutsan meaning all heal because this is often used in medicines so it has medicinal uses so they call it all heal how amazing and you can find that here growing wild and what other plants can I find hmm these long grasses here that you see running all along with their nice little fluffy tops all around here now these are called holcus and they can also be known as Yorkshire fog and these are often munched up and enjoyed by caterpillars so they like to, they like to eat these fascinating and then I think there's lots and lots of wildflowers here you have to if you live nearby you'll have to come investigate yourselves but I think I can spy one more interesting plant nearby that I can tell you about make my way around So, over here, now these are common mallow and they have lots of different variations, they can also be known as dwarf mallow, but this plant is completely edible. How fascinating that right here you can even find edible plants so you can take the leaves and the stalks and the seeds are all classed as edible I'm not sure about the flowers so if I was you I wouldn't try them and I wouldn't try eating them anyway actually that's not very good advice just in case I'm wrong but what I've looked up and what I've heard is that you can eat these amazing so wildflowers have lots of different uses and they come in all different shapes and sizes and hopefully in my pack, I'll have some daisies growing, some of these big daisies. I'm not sure I have any of the other plants I found here today growing in my pack, but 
they'll all come up eventually some this year some maybe next year looking very flowery so thank you for joining me today and I hope you get investigating around your local areas to try and find some of your own wildflowers and see if you can identify them and find out some facts too.